This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 2nd, 2010, first weekend of the new year. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we're waking up to a cold weather. And uh, the thing about this cold weather is it's going to be with us for quite some time, at least perhaps for much of the next full week and maybe even a little beyond that. All right, let's get to some sky cam images. How about Chiha? Sun rising over there in the east and the lights beginning to go out on the uh, lodge, the, the uh, hotel up there as we look out from the top of the mountain. How about the Tennessee River as we zoom in on the bridge over the Tennessee River at Decatur? And then couldn't help but just enjoy this shot of a few clouds in the sky as the sun is rising over the city of Gadsden and the light's still on down there. Well, the uh, surface high over South Central Canada is making its influence felt across the eastern half of the country with extremely cold air and uh, a lot of snow from the Great Lakes all the way up into New England once again. So they don't need much more snow, I don't think, but uh, they're certainly getting it. In the upper atmosphere, we've got this closed low over the eastern Great Lakes that will become more or less anchored over uh, New England and just off the New England coast for the next couple of days. So that's going to keep us in a cold pattern. Notice that strong northwesterly flow. Uh, from the ridge over the Rockies. And temperatures across the country are rather cold. Remember, we were uh, uh, this past week, we, we had a point where it looked like the 32 degree line, 32 and below covered about 50% of the country. And now look at this, the 32 degree line only not covering Florida and uh, the Gulf Coast and some of the West Coast. So uh, we're down to like 90% of the country below 32 degrees. So it is definitely a winter chill. Central Alabama is in the mid-20s at most of the airport stations. Uh, I noticed 20 uh, at uh, 23 at Muscle Shoals and uh, 20 at Hamilton. So it's uh, very, very chilly. Remember yesterday I mentioned Nashville was 23 and Montgomery was 43? Look at this, 16 and 27. Wow, isn't that quite a change from yesterday? Uh, the uh, watch warning map shows a number of uh, the brown areas are, are wind advisories, and then the rest of those are all winter weather and winter storm watches and warnings and advisories. Uh, most of those warnings at this point uh, for the snow that's going on over there in the uh, east and northeast part of the United States. And we still have a few other winter weather advisories in the northern Rockies. QPF-wise, looks like it's going to be dry along with that cold. So you're going to have to be careful as you walk across the carpet that you don't spark yourself as you hit that doorknob. All right, here's the 060E GFS model run. And uh, certainly is cold. We can track the cold by just uh, kind of referencing the 540 thickness line. And you can see that it is down into central Alabama at noon today. That closed low moves out off the New England coast. Uh, and uh, we notice that there are several pieces of energy moving around it. And uh, as those pieces of energy, those short waves move down the, the uh, backside of the, the trough, uh, they help to reinforce the cold air. So uh, Sunday, the 540 line dips down into South Alabama. and But that's not all of it. Uh, more energy keeps going. And not, notice by Monday, it's going to be very cold with the 540 line all the way down to the Gulf Coast. By Tuesday, 540 line still, uh, as the measure here, uh, as, uh, as the guideline is still in the vicinity of the Gulf Coast. Now, we begin to see some changes on Wednesday. Uh, we're, we come under a bit of a weak ridge, not, not a strong ridge at all, you can tell that, uh, as the closed low off the New England coast finally begins to head out into uh, southeastern Canada and head away from us. But a new trough is coming out of south-central Canada, and that uh, shortwave trough is going to establish a new trough in the uh, eastern half of the country that's going to keep us, yep, you guessed it, cold. And so on Wednesday, we see the 540 line shifting a little bit north, but not enough for us to really uh, uh, count on for much warming. That trough uh, digs in on 
Thursday and closes off as well over uh, about Chicago or so. And so we are definitely going to be cold with the possibility and any moisture that comes with this is likely to be squeezed out as some light snow. Now, right now, this is not the kind of weather pattern that looks like it's going to give us any kind of significant snow. Now, we certainly need to watch this because this is Thursday. This is still a long way out into the future here. So, yeah, will changes occur? More than likely, but we'll be watching that. The, uh, the trough migrates eastward uh, with a little kind of elongation. So, as you can imagine, looking, uh, tracing those lines all the way back into northern Canada, yes, we stay. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I have to use that word again? Cold. Yep. Uh, just uh, can't help but be a little humorous about this. And uh, on Saturday, a week from today, uh, if the GFS is right, of course, we've got the, the uh, long wave uh, pattern. Of the long wave trough is over the eastern half of the country, and there's another piece of energy coming down through uh, Missouri and uh, Nebraska, Kansas area, and that will help to once again reinforce the cold air. So right now, if the GFS is right, we're certainly not going to see much in the way of anything but cold air all the way through next Saturday and then Sunday. Perhaps we are noticing some warming to our west, but again, that's verging on voodoo. Speaking of voodoo, uh, the pattern stays very active, and that trend has certainly been true. On the 13th, we see a, a nice short wave moving through the eastern half of the country, and then once again on the 17th, a, a very strong storm system that has a very uh, a great southward extent to it, and this one might even be responsible for some severe weather. But we are out at the end of Voodoo. This is 372 hours, so we'll be watching how that evolves. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by 8 a.m. or so on Sunday morning. Hope that you have a great weekend and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.